r slash ask reddit what is 100% luck but people act like it's an accomplishment winning on a slot machine if you know a serious slot player they treat it like a science they never tell you when they lose more like they only tell you their winnings never the amount they spend to make that which is typically more money than they won having rich parents Definitely, there is a difference between making a million bucks and being a millionaire. Holy shit what is it about being born rich that puts such crazy entitlement in a person's head. Not only are they cokey but they truly feel like they are better than most people. And they have done nothing to earn this social position. Getting in early enough on a reddit thread to get top post. The trick is being a base comment in an established post. I once cracked an egg and it was a double yoker. I was proud of my accomplishment and claimed it as my own. You inspire me. Never change. Here's looking at you kid. When somebody cites anecdotal results to justify bad behavior. I drank when I was pregnant and Tommy turned out fine. We never used car seats and nothing bad ever happened. I'm fine to drive. I've driven home plenty of times after a six pack. In my day we used lead paint and nobody got sick. These are not actions that guarantee bad things happening. They are actions that increase the odds of bad things happening. Add to it my grandfather smoked a pack a day and make it to 95. PSSSHHH. Whatever. My grandfather drank a handle of whiskey every day and lived to be 118. Big dongs. Being a big dong is a choice. People scoff at the buff guy who goes shirtless or what have you. By at least that takes work and discipline. A large dong is genetics and luck. You have absolutely no say and no way to adjust for it. Bragging is silly and making fun of lesser endowed men is cruel. Apparently this comment means I am fat and have a small penis. Wonderful and it kind of helps prove my point. A former co-worker I'm still friends with on social media won a 5 million dollar prize in the state lottery last year. At first I was happy for her. She paid off her and her husband's house, put money away for her kids college funds, and paid off all their student loans. But then the social media post started coming in about how she deserved the trip to Spain recently, or how she was rewarded for hard work with a new Mercedes. Lady, you got super lucky winning a good sized prize in the lottery, but did nothing to earn all this. I'd rather have seen a million blessed posts than this shit. At least that acknowledges the randomness. Back when I was in high school our janitor, who was also the stepdad of one of my friends, won $3. 4 million in Quinto. I believe he was the last or second to last payout before they shut down from lack of funds or something. But don't quote me on that. He was the most down to earth guy with that money I've ever seen. He paid off their house and their existing cars. Bought a nice, big TV. And helped get the high school a new track because the one we had was legit garbage. The school got a state grant to help pay for the track. But still came up like $40,000 short. My buddy's dad just said I can cover that. And paid the rest of the cost. Then he put the money in savings and as far as I know has barely touched it over the next 10 years. He still kept his janitorial job. Still kept coaching the track team. And basically stayed the exact same. Crazy humble and always willing to help person that he's always been. I've honestly always used him as an example of the kind of person I'd want to be if I came into stupid amounts of money like that. I want to believe I would be the same person, but legit think that's a lie. Legit would make me lazy as duck. I think I would be generous but stingy at the same time. Definitely would quit my job and pursue being a professional something stupid. I'd love to stream video games and have the personality for it. Unfortunately not everyone can wait to become the next Eris or something like that. Killing me in any FPS game. Lucky shot kid. Nothing personal. My friend had wealthy grandparents who gave him an enormous inheritance. Two condos and a townhouse. Several million dollars. And two luxury cars. When people comment on his sudden lifestyle change. He was working at Burger King previously. The dude says yeah I worked so hard. Busting my ass every day. Doing an online business to generate supplemental income. There were days where I didn't sleep and I wasn't sure I was going to make it. When I called him out in front of everyone for lying he started to fake cry and say I was being a hater for him doing well. That inheritance is ridiculous lifestyle change for anyone of any age if they aren't in the right mindset. 
three homes and two cars with millions in cash can correct 75% of people problems. Money, living situation, reliable transportation, and all they have to do is not duck it up over time. Which tends to happen due to personality traits I bet. Winning the lottery frequently ruins people's lives because they have insufficient impulse control and no idea how to manage money. Being born rich or good looking or well hung. One out of three ain't bad. If you hit the trifecta, sheesh. If you were born well hung, then you are probably suffering from medical issues now. I've lived in Florida my entire life. There's a type of person here that likes to hang tight and not evacuate when a tropical weather system is approaching and they're recommended ordered to do so. And then flex on anybody who didn't call them kittens when it's all over. Those people are dumb. Also reckless, because emergency services will have to be wasted on them when they gamble and lose. Usually if they refuse to evacuate, most incident commanders will not risk their personnel's lives to rescue them. Which is how it should be. The best way to convince these people to leave is to go around suggesting they write identifying info on their body so their corpse can be identified. Another way is to go around asking them to fill out next of kin notification forms for when they are killed by the storm, fire, flood etc. And yes, this is stuff they actually do to convince these people. Boops. I grew these myself. Thank you very much. McDonald's and Chinese food helped me. My grandmother smoked a pack a day, drank a lot for a 70 year old and ate like shit. We found Reese peanut butter cups hidden in a TV drawer once and caught her smuggling ice cream bars in her purse to her room. Yet she is the only grandparent who doesn't exercise and has yet to come across any severe injury or illness. For your information my dad thinks she lives off the misery of others. Which may be true. My grandma is 95 and lives a similar lifestyle. Everyone thinks she is alive still because she is making everyone miserable and sucking their life force from them. Being tall, like that is one thing people really have no control over. When I was 6, I had a Russian sports coach who told me to drink milk to get tall. I drank a shitload of milk every day till I was 11 and I just became a fattest kid. I'm 5 feet 6 inches. You got tall horizontally. On the same lines. Deal or no deal was completely about luck but presenter, Noel Edmonds, tried to make out that it was a game of skill. The only skill aspect I can think of is knowing to cut the shit and just take the banker's offer. Better to settle for $300,000 than risk getting the $100. On the contrary, from a statistics point of view you should never take the banker's offer because it is always slightly lower than your expected value at that point in the game. In practice however, the money being offered can be life changing so you can't blame people for taking the offer. Being born in a developed country. By the same token when people act all elitist for being from someplace cool like NYC Colorado California. Yeah maybe people like the place you were born. That doesn't mean they like you. Oof ouch. Seriously though. Very true. Being born beautiful. It blows my mind how people really identify with it, as if they achieved it. It's even worse when they prioritize themselves in some way over someone who isn't quite as attractive. Open bracket. Also, I'm talking about genetic physical features here, not gym discipline diet etc. They identify with it because of the way others treat them as a result. Your I always wondered how being a beautiful young girl and the attention they get ducks with their conscience. Imagine every person checking you out no matter where you go and what you look like. You would have to be a strong person to not develop a huge ego. LOL. Being born into money inheriting a fortune. I earned this. The old line about being born on third and going through life convinced you hit a triple is usually pretty accurate. Being born. Hey I was the strongest swimmer in over a hundred million. I earned this pitiful existence. I'll add being proud of your country of birth. Everyone's entire life, we're just moist robots. Edit. Wow. Gold. Guess this is the part where I admit I'm not the genius you think I am. Kind stranger. But thank you. And thanks Scott Adams. Moist robots. That is the best thing I've read online in a while. A friend once made the comment I love the way cats are programmed, and have been having a little bit of an existential crisis ever since. Would I even know if I was a robot if I was programmed to believe I wasn't? Nationality. Duck you say about America? 
USA 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 Having a naturally large dong and boobs at the same time It's 2018 When that little seven-year-old shit I babysat kept rolling 6s and risk and yelling pro skillage Sounds to me like you got ducky owned scrub Rolling a natural 20 at just the right moment. It's always good fun but I've definitely had players try to pass off that amazing victory over that big duck and dragon I threw at them as a result of skill. Despite the fact that the whole point of the game is that it's a random dice roll. And if it's not then we kind of have a problem. In the true RP fashion, every player should damn well treat it as it's the result of skill of the character. Getting trapped in a room with an angry raccoon. Their race. I didn't see this here but I think it's the most important one, winning the fight against cancer. Lots of luck involved here, is it treatable, and did the treatment work? It's not easy, that's for sure. Being a successful online celebrity, I have seen a few channels from content makers that have these inspirational videos that just tell you to do it, and follow your dreams. And one day you'll have millions of subs and have your own studio in downtown NYC just like them. Sure, you aren't going to get to that level of success without the work, but they make it seem like it is a sure thing just because it worked for them. A lot of the time it is just the luck of the internet and something becoming viral that establishes a solid base for further progression. Without the initial surge, many of these people would never have taken off. It isn't 100% luck of course, but it sure does help. Wiping your ass after dropping a deuce and the tissue has nothing on it. Deflecting all laser blasts from a training remote with a lightsaber while wearing a helmet with a blast shield. Most folks that have been truly successful in life will tell you it's due to a combination of support from others, luck, and hard work. In essence, success is always due to external factors to a certain degree. Winning Mario Party. Birthday. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cast you a deal, smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh, it's free and that's a great price.